Divrai Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 9. So, all Yashar'el were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the Sefer of the kings of Yashar'el and Yahuda, who were carried away to Babel for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were Yashar'el, the priests, Levi'im, and the Nathin. And in Yerushalayim dwelt of the children of Yahuda, and of the children of Binyamin, and of the children of Ephraim, and Menasheh. Uthai, the son of Amedhud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Peretz, the son of Yahuda, and of the Shilonim, Esaiah, the firstborn, and his sons, and of the sons of Zarach, Yeuel, and their brethren, six hundred and ninety. And of the sons of Binyamin, Kalu, the son of Meshalam, the son of Hudavya, the son of Chenua, and Yivnaya, the son of Yocham, rather Yer Ocham, and Ila, the son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shefat Yahu, the son of Reuel, the son of Yivnaya, and their brethren, according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty and six. All these were, rather, all these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priests, Yedaya, and Yahu Yariv, and Yakin, and Ezar Yahu, the son of Kilkiyahu, the son of Meshalam, the son of Sadok, the son of Marioth, the son of Achtivu, rather Achiv Tov, the ruler of the house of Elohim, and Adayahu, the son of Yarcham, the son of Pashkar, the son of Melkiyahu, and Maasai, the son of Adiel the son of Yachraza, rather, Yach, rather, Yachkazara, the son of Mashalam, the son of Mishalamith, the son of Imer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and three score, very able men for the work of the service, of the house of Elohim. And of the Leviim, Shimayahu, the son of Chashuzuv, the son of Azari, Kam, the son of Chachazav Yahu, of the sons of Marai, and Bach Bachar, Cheresh, and Galal, and Matanyahu, the son of Mikayahu, the son of Zikri, the son of Echaf, and Ovadiyahu, the son of Shemayahu, the son of Galal, the son of Yerathon, and Berechiyahu, the son of Acha, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Netophathim. And the porters were Shalom, and Achuv, and Talman, and Achimman, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Kor, the son of Eviachath, the son of Korach, and his brethren of the house of his father, the Kochim, were over the work of the service 
guarders of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the hosts of Yahuwah, were guarders of the entry. And Pinachach, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and Yahuwah was with him. And Zekar Yahu, the son of Melashalam and Yahu, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Shemuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of Yahuwah, namely the house of the tabernacle by wards. In four quarters were the porters, toward the east, west, north, and south. And their brethren, which were in their villages, were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Leviim, the four chief porters, were in their set office and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of Elohim. And they lodged round about the house of Elohim because the charge was upon them and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels that they should bring them in and out by tale. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels and all the instruments of the sanctuary and the fine flour and the wine and the oil and the frankincense and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Matith Yahu, one of the Leviim, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korchi, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Kohathim, were over the showbread to prepare it every Shabbat. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Leviim, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Leviim were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Yerushalayim. And in Givon dwelt the father of Givon, Yachil El, whose woman's name was Ma'aka, and his firstborn son, Avdan, then Sir, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadav, and Gidor, and Achyo, and Zachariahu, and Miklath. And Miklath begat at Sheman. And they also dwelt with their brethren at Yerushalayim, over against their brethren. And Ner begat at Kish. And Kish begat at Shaul, and Shaul begat at Yahunathan, and at Melki Yeshua, at and Avinadav, and at Eshbaal. And the son of Yahunathan was Mariv Baal, and Mariv Baal begat at Mika. And the sons of Mika were Piton and Melech and Tahria and Echaz and Echaz begat at Yara and Yara begat at Alameth and at Azmaveth and at Zimri and Zimri begat at Motza and Motza begat at Bina and Raphaya his son Elasa his son Atzel, his son. And Atzel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikham, 
and Bokaru and Yishmael and Sherer Yah and Ovid Yahu and Hanan. These were the sons of Atzel.